Good morning. <clears throat> it's Friday, so happy Friday. It's January 27th, 2023. And I, for one, am thankful to be here and sharing these messages with you. Thank you for your patience, your likes, shares, comments, and for subscribing. I pray you have an absolutely phenomenal day, night, and weekend. So without further ado, let's see what messages Spirit, the Most High, has to share with us today. So I'm using the Divination of the Ancients, um, a really cute empowerment deck I purchased at mm, Home Goods, the Chakra Wisdom Oracle deck, phenomenal deck, uh, the Black Angels by Earthland Manu. Marcellian Manual. It's out of print, unfortunately. Um, a couple of crystal cards, the Affirmators, which were, it was a gift from my neighbors. So thanks, Dave and Zach and Barnaby, their little dog. My friend Pam calls these the little Wizard of Oz cards. So we're using those crystal cards today. We still have the magical die. And yeah. So without further ado, let's get into it. So from the empowerment deck, I pulled, be the kind of woman who makes others want to up their game. So honey, when you do it, do it well, and don't be afraid to shine. From the affirmators, we have generosity. I give generously to those around me, no matter how much or how little I have. I know there is more than enough to go around and that the key is to allow it to keep going around without stopping. If I stop the flow, I'm like the one person at the stadium who doesn't do the wave, and you don't want to be that person. Plus, when you... I know my camera work. Thank you for being patient. When you um, have a closed hand, nothing can get in or out. So remember, open that hand and be generous. So from our crystal cards. We have Rhyolite. Okay, as I'm trying to move gently. It's a nice stone and I need a manicure so don't come for me, please. Rhyolite. This ancient stone can induce very deep and introspective meditations. It can help you explore your past lives. Gaining strength and self-esteem from this stone allows you to look back with an understanding and acceptance of the choices you made. It's also wonderful to use on your solar plexus when you are doing a crystal attunement or during meditation. It can really open up things. And the key again is to look back on what comes up, not from a lens of judgment or criticism, but from a lens of self-compassion and love. From the Divination of the Ancients, I always want to call it Oracle of the Divine, we have Oracle, actually, and Wisdom. The incantation is, the answers, the answers I had all along, my knowing clear and wisdom strong. I tap into my inner seer and trust the truth never to fear. So kind of goes on what we talked about yesterday was um, trusting, trusting your own inner knowing and um, divine wisdom. Other divinatory meanings, don't believe another's claims. You are in touch with the truth in this situation. Trust your inner wisdom and gut instincts. Others will seek your advice. Don't be afraid to speak your truth. You have the psychic gift of clear cognizance. So from our other deck, the Chakra Wisdom, we have Confusion. When I pulled that one, I was like, Confusion? And I said, okay, Spirit, we gonna go with it. So... This is from the uh, seventh chakra neutral in her deck. Silver cloud. Every silver lining has a cloud. The legend. Yana climbs Faith Mountain in dense fog. 
wondering whether her decision to leave her boyfriend was the right one. There is another man waiting in the wings. There always is. Silver cloud surrounds her and it is cold and scary. Despite her confusion, she keeps climbing. As she reaches the summit, the fog clears, revealing the town far below. With Silver Cloud's help, she has journeyed much farther than she realized. She now knows what to do. She begins the long journey home to reclaim her love. Inspiration. Through the willingness to be in confusion, we find clarity. There is nothing to solve. Meditation and quiet time will bring clarity. The clarity that you seek. Personal inquiry. Can I see confusion as a good thing? Can I learn to let go of needing an immediate outcome? Key ideas, allowing confusion, spiritual support, consequences of actions, and finding love. Key words, clarity, support, revelation. The meditation is to close your eyes and visualize the room you are in. Focus on one object in the room. When you are relaxed, sense the presence of silver cloud. When the object is no longer visible in your mind's eye, relax even more. Breathe deeply. Okay, let's let's back that up. There we go. You are in the presence of not knowing. It is a completely safe environment. Ask for the highest good, and this shall be revealed. Alrighty. Now, from the Black Angels, we have Mother Wit. So, Mother Wit. When it's affirming, it can be profound. When it's negating, it can be sarcastic. There we go. The mother wit represents the thinker. She has a consciousness that is represented in few words, but words which are clear, exact, and truthful and powerful. Your wit seems to come from nowhere when in fact it is of an ancestral nature. People wish they could say the things, could say things in the way that you say them, not realizing that you were born this way. You have a rare astuteness of perception or judgment. Mother Wit, you are on it. You don't fear saying the wrong things. The use of your mind to bring a keen soundness or meaning to life is the key to your divine work. But you are also seen as sarcastic at times. This sarcasm can cause a great divide between you and others. Folks do not know whether to laugh, thank you, or slap you. Your wit is both your saving grace and your lack of grace. But never fear, Mother Wit. You can use that thinking ability to exercise your sarcasm in a positive way. You've done it many times before. It happens when you make an important and powerful statement about something or someone and everyone laughs, but they also get the point. And they get it in a deep way. Remember, you also bring humor with your knowledge. Selecting this card may mean your witty nature has become so trite or irritating that you have lost your attractiveness. It may mean it is time to use your wit in a more powerful way, not just chit-chat. Look at when and how you use your divine work. Is it merely to show off how witty you are? Wit is an old African virtue we still hold as black people. It was often beaten out of us as slaves or as we were enslaved. And then later, our black parents forced this power out of us as children. Wit energy was seen as subtle indignation or anger. This energy is often called sassy in black girls. Today, mother wit energy can be a powerful way to be present and connected to life. So use your wit wisely. Now, for our um, other cards that are at the bottom of the deck... Move and very gently, we got gratitude again from yesterday. So remember to be in gratitude, and it's next to the little thank you. And 
We have Chrysoprase for our crystal card. We have from the empowerment at the bottom of the deck, a woman is unstoppable once she discovers her worth. We have Omen from Oracle of, or Div Divination of the Ancients and No Need to Do from the Affirmators. So no need to do. I'm exactly where I need to be, exactly when I need to be. There is nothing more I need to do. I mean, yes, there will always be laundry and taxes, but in terms of my life's path, I don't need to do anything because I'm already here. I take a deep breath, relax, and trust, and then do the laundry. I love that. Okay, so I'm going to put this right here, and I'm going to do, do, do. Okay, here we go. Orinthomancy Omen. So I'm going to put that right there so we can see it. Bam. Okay, maybe. Perfect. So much to this. So this one is Omen. And the incantation is all that glitters is not gold. But I believed what I'd been told. This omen bids me to retreat as protection, not defeat. Other divinatory meanings do not ignore your intuition. Messages or signs. Think before doing anything that will take you from your true path. Someone is not being honest. This is not a time for new ventures. Do not move forward at this time. So for whoever needs to hear that. Then we have Chrysoprase. Oh, let's try and... So this stone can induce a deep meditation, known to be very helpful by opening your mind to acceptance of others and yourself. This calming stone can prevent you from speaking out in anger by making the mind think about consequences before you lash out. So again, kind of like stop and think before you take action and it's, this is not the time to take you know action you gotta stop and think a woman is unstoppable once she discovers her worth I love that card so uh, think and know your worth you know before you do anything now let's go to the reader card I'll try and hold that up so you can oh or maybe maybe not okay and take three. Here we go. Okay. Yes. Okay. That'll work. We'll do it that way. Um, bump, bump, bump. So, affirming it is perceptive, negating projection onto others. You hold knowledge like the seer, but are you are more sure of your information. You thrive on your intuition and connection with all of your other senses. You live in the realm of knowing and believe strongly that your knowledge is to be delivered. You are a messenger. While the seer skills are primarily for the self, the reader's work is for the other. As a reader, you are always in the moment. You can only read what's present in someone's life today. Sometimes you get glimpses of the future that you share with caution. You have a good sense of everyone and everything. Your divine work affirms what people already know about themselves. But folks need such affirmation. Your work and affirmation can feel very fixed and unsettling to folks. Your ability to see fate and destiny can ruffle a few feathers. People ask for this information from you, and then they get upset at your confirmation of some of their greatest fears and disappointments in life. Whatever. However, as a reader, you may feel that you are simply sharing what you see in a person, but most likely you are seeing yourself in the ex life experience of another. Ooh, preach. As a result, you are unconsciously projecting yourself including your emotions and feelings on to others. This need for projection comes
comes out of the inability to hold your own life. As a black woman, you may find it painful to hold your dislike for your darkness. So when you are in reader energy, you may be placing your pains, fears, and negativity onto those you love. Likewise, you can project your hopes and dreams onto others as well, especially children. Since as a reader, you see so clearly in the moment, you feel there is no changing what you see in others or yourself. This feeling exists because you do not trust the power of will. If you selected this card, you may need to know that the power of will is stronger than fate because it is the will of your spirit. Using your power of will to change your destiny may ease your need to project what you cannot embrace in yourself. You can not direct the will of spirit, but you can begin to recognize it by developing an appetite for who you are. Use your reader energy on yourself. All righty. Well, well, well. So that is the message, or those are the messages for today. I definitely think that spirit is telling us several things, but to trust our own intuition, not to project onto others. Boom, boom. Uh, to meditate, and in our in meditation, we will we'll find what we need. We'll we'll gain that clarity that we need, and um, take time today to reflect and uh, be the kind of man or woman who makes others want to up their game. So with that being said, please comment in the um, comment section if any of these resonated, what your interpretations are. I always look forward to reading your comments and continue to go forth and be wonderful. Heal, teach, grow, learn, and love. You've got this with love and light. Signing off. Bye.